Hello everyone. Let us see now the summary of the story A House is Not a Home by Zan Gaudioso. The narrator describes his first year at high school. Before joining his new school, he had been a senior and enjoyed all the advantages that it offered to him earlier. However, in the new school, he is a junior and a new student and all his friends have been moved or sent to different schools. And the author feels isolated and lonely at the new school. He misses his old school, his friends and his teachers also. So he visits his old teachers and they all advise him to join different activities to remain happy. This will enable him to adjust to his new school as well as make new friends also according to them. The author felt comforted after hearing this kind of words. However, one Sunday afternoon the author was doing his homework and his cat was also lying by his side. His mother was adding wood to the fire to keep the house warm. Suddenly, the author smelled something strange. To his horror, he saw smoke coming from the ceiling. The author and his mother quickly ran out of their house. The author ran to a neighbor's house and called the fire department immediately. However, his mother on the other hand ran back inside and came out with a box of important documents. Then she ran back again inside. The author was terrified to see his mother ran back inside the burning house. He also rushed forward to help her, but a hand stopped him. Then the fireman had arrived. One of them had placed his hand around the author to stop him from going inside. And when the narrator protested, he reassured him that one of his firemen would rescue his mother and not to go inside. The author, helpless, watched them enter the house. Then he forgot all his quarrels with his mother and he just wanted his mother to be safe. The firemen were finally able to get his mother out of the house with difficulty. The author ran and hugged his mother. Then they both sat down and watched as the firemen tackled the flames and their house was burning in the flames. It was then that the narrator made a horrific realization. His cat had not made it out of the house. This realization was the tipping point for the author. Everything that had happened to him, like going to a new school and losing his home and his cat, suddenly hit him with shocking intensity. He felt it was all too much for him. The author and his mother made their way to his grandparents' house. It was a dark time for the author. He had lost his house, his belongings and his cat all at once. Then he had to go back to school with some borrowed clothes and some books. Then after that he walked around everywhere in shock. He kept going back to his burned house and watched man clear away all the burnt rubble and belongings. He hoped that one day he would find his lost cat too. At school, he felt that everyone was staring at him. It was not the kind of attention that he wanted as a new student. And one day, while he was getting ready for a gym class, his schoolmates kept coming up to tell him to hurry up. She could not understand anything. He could not uh, find anything strange but like he had used all his strength to go inside and as he entered the gym, he saw a huge table loaded with so many things there. The school uh, people had collected money for the, from the staff and the students and brought all the school supplies, notebooks and different clothes also. For the author, it felt like Christmas. But best of all was that everyone came up and introduced themselves to the author. And they also expressed their concern for the author. By the end of the day, he had already made friends. For the first time, the author felt that things were going to be okay now. And a month after the fire, the author watched his house being rebuilt with his new friends. Suddenly, a woman came up to him. He, she uh, was carrying the cat. He grabbed the cat and hugged 
this little cat. The woman had found the cat a mile away and had relentlessly searched for the owner of the cat. The author thanked the woman for her kindness and his happiness was now complete. So, a house is not a home reflects on the difference between a house and a home. We find that a house is made up of concrete and bricks. A home, on the other hand, is something that you make with your loved ones. In the beginning of the story, the narrator was concerned with all the things that were missing in his life. But later on, when his schoolmates extended an open hand to him, his perspective on life changed everywhere. And he realized that his home was with the people who cared for him. Thank you. Bye.